They just got married in Cuba, man. What's up guys my name is Marwa and if it's your first time to this YouTube channel kindly subscribe and today you can also give a video like you know just to support me so today I'm gonna teach you the most expensive thing to own in Cuba and guess what is it yeah to own a car to own a car I mean to own a private car in Cuba is very very expensive and today I wanna teach you the different types of cars on the roads of Cuba who owns them, how much it costs, and uh, how to identify a car if it's private, it's, maybe it's a public car, or if a car is owned by maybe the government, or if the car is owned by an individual who is, let's say, like a foreign, you know, like a foreign envoy. So I'm gonna just teach you many things about like owning a car in Cuba. So I hope you guys will just enjoy the video. I just feel like, uh, because I want to teach you just more how like uh, a socialist government works. It's nothing political, I'm not trying to underrate anything man. I just have to be very clear with this video. I'm just trying to give you information, you know. If me in Cuba which have like their number plates you know number plates yeah they have like a, a blue a blue sticker then from a blue sticker we have a, a, a letter for example let's see this car right here like that car it, it has a blue sticker as like on this side then after that it has like a b a b digit that's it b means it's public so it's owned by the government so it's owned by the government but you may find like a private guy has just borrowed it to use it and he's paying okay he's paying maybe per month or he's paying a it depends maybe per year or he already paid up front so those are the B numbers. So let's do the next one, which will be a P with no stick at all, okay? So like right here, I can see one. You can see that? That one is a P. P means it's privately owned. So that means a person by him or him or herself bought this car from maybe a different country and he paid tax and this is a russian car and they're the most common cars here in cuba like most people have this type of cars because you know having a car in in cuba is like having gold yeah it's purely it's purely like having gold here in cuba so i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this type of cars which are very common here and uh, they are from russia so right those are the types of cars in Cuba. So those are the most common cars here in Cuba. Like they are in in different in, in different colors. Like there's one here which is red. You can see that down there. Yeah, it's the same type. Then the neighbor right here. So and you see down here we have a sticker which is uh, written Cuba. Then it starts to be so that is public. Anytime you see a blue sticker, it's public. So right here we have a blue sticker. Blue sticker, sorry, it's I don't know. I'm I'm in these trees. You see here, so it's dark. So we have a blue sticker, but 
it's with T. So that car has a blue sticker and it has a T besides it. That means that car is only used for tourists. It's tourismo, tourismo. So the car, the main purpose of that car is just to do things which are totally touristic. Totally, totally touristic. So most cars here, most cars, most, most cars here are owned by the government. So you may think like, oh, this guy is rich or uh, he owns this car. Totally it's not. So a car like that here in Cuba, it's 25,000 US dollars. Yes, 25,000 US dollars. 25,000 US dollars. So I'm gonna explain why you see those, those Porsche cars, very, very fancy. The old one, the old, old type of cars. I wanna teach you how they, they came to be in Cuba, like why Cuba has very many old cars. So actually, I brought you to this place where they are like classic cars and you're gonna see what I'm telling you. Like for example, you can see this car over here. It is a V and that is the car right there. You see? So that car is not owned by the owner, it's owned by the government because it has it has the number plates starting with the blue sticker you can see the difference between that yes so all stickers with the b the blue then b that is owned by the government and the other sticker that you didn't see anything like the other one that I showed you a plain one with P starting with letter P that is that is totally private yeah and I have a friend here I'm gonna show you uh, my friend is one of the coolest guys here so you can tell this is the government car the super class Also, that's so, as you see, all these cars I've shown you, they're very classic cars, they're owned by the government. And uh, I want to teach you more about these cars and how they came to be in Cuba, like many of them. Actually, guys. I'm gonna introduce you to one of my best friends, one guy I met here in Cuba, man, and he turned out to be one of my best friends right now. And he looks like one of my friends in Kenya, his name is Mutesi. And this guy is a big boss here, man. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Esteban. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Esteban. Yes. So <laughs> for me to be professional, for me to be professional is three things. Yeah. One, be a smile, be natural, be on time, uh -huh. and give all that the guests need. And uh -huh. this is what I give to my friends. So this guy is like the boss. He's the guy who like... You see those fancy cars you see in Cuba? He's the guy that controls them, like he's the, he's the main guy. So he's gonna tell you about like him and I show you the cars. Right here we have a car. Tell yeah. me about yourself. Man. Uh, this is very nice car, mm -hmm. you understand? And we can make a nice tour around the city because Havana is a very big city. Mm -hmm. so, and Havana divide in two parts. All Havana and New Havana. Mm -hmm. All Havana is like a tiny stop. Mm -hmm. Remember that Havana was Las Vegas before Las Vegas, and oh. all biggest mafia was here. Oh. We are talking about Mary Laskin, Luke Luciano, Tony Montana, and we can go to the country club, we can see the forest of Havana, Mahama Gandhi Park, Fusterlandia, we can see the Ernest Hemingway, the Nobel Grammy. Okay, we can see the Capitolium, the lighthouse, and this is Cuba, this is Guantanamo Base. If you want to visit my country, you just come here and contact me. For so, this car. Yeah, let me just put your car right there. Yeah, it's, it's very clear. Mm -hmm. I so, try to make the best for you. <laughs> How much per, per ride? Like, if somebody wants to take a ride here? Depends, you understand? Mm -hmm. 
depends what the people want, but uh -huh. we are professional. So we play for NBA, no oh. budget. <laughs> So you hear how he says it depends. So it depends maybe how he looks at you or how you guys present yourself. How many yourself. hours do you want to make? How you understand? Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's like there's no fixed price, right? That's right. There's no fixed price because it depends how you show up. <laughs> and depends what you want. You understand? Uh, yeah. What you want, what you get. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he says you get what you want, guys. So. Uh, but I really recommend him, but he has been like one of my best friends here in Cuba and so far, like yesterday he took me in his car, man, up to my door place, yeah, and he left me there. But he really looks chill and... Take the front of my car. Yeah. <laughs> I have many one here. So you can show us and tell us the names if you want. Take see, us the tour, see, man. See, see, see. This is view 1952. Uh -huh. View 1952, seven years before of the revolution. Oh, seven years before the revolution. The revolution was in 1959. Uh -huh. And right here. So, man, these, these are the Cuban cars, and they are super, super, view super 1955. famous. This is the view 1955. 1955. 1955. Four years before the revolution. <laughs> okay, but this is the more safe country in the world. I was uh -huh. in Israel, in Haifa, in Greek, mm -hmm. in Amsterdam because I work in a cruise line from 1996 until 2004. Why? Why is the revolution so important? Why is the why revolution? the revolution? Yeah, so important. So important. Yeah. Because make a school for babies, mm -hmm. safe country, yeah. good health. Uh -huh. Nobody died for play of food. Yeah, and yesterday you told me about mortality and... And this is the one of the best countries that more babies born, that more babies died. Yeah. yeah. You understand? <laughs> this is very important in the life, baby. Yeah. Take us to that, to those two then, we can stop our tour. Okay, over there. El Puyo es 55. 55. 56, this is for 1928. Mm -hmm. Dime. For 1928. For 1928. And this is Chevrolet 1956. 1956. Yeah. How many years before the revolution? Eh? Three years before the revolution. Eh? Yeah. I know very good mathematics. <laughs> yeah, you have to do that. Man. Okay, this is the guy that wanna make me my family go up because he told me that he wanna send me friend. Yeah, guys, I really, I really recommend if you're in Cuba or if you're coming down here for a honeymoon with your girlfriend, man, reach this guy out, man. He has a, real, a really, really good heart. And it, as long as you say it's Mara who brought you here, man, the prices will be good. Yeah, man, you know, sometimes I meet very nice people in the streets and uh, I know this video will have an impact somewhere, someday for you. Or maybe in the future, man, every day as people watch this video, kindly check his work, man, and have a ride here, you see. Yeah, this car is super yeah, fast. Eh? Very so, nice. Man, what is your message to people? What is the consejo? To the people. Coming to Cuba, yeah. Okay. Eh, with the cars and everything. Uh -huh. You you must come into Cuba yeah. with two things very important. Uh -huh. One, respect. Yeah. And the second, love. love. This is Cuba. Respect and love. Mm -hmm. Take care. God bless you. God bless your country. And God bless your family. Yeah. The best for you. I have car in everywhere waiting for you. Yeah. And when you come into my country, yeah. don't come with American Express. Oh, yeah. Because if it is not, don't work here. So, with any car that no American bank inside. Okay? Oh, okay. So you guys if coming to Cuba, don't come with any type of bank account which is American associated because they will not work in Cuba, man. And that's just a tip for those traveling to, to Cuba. And we're gonna end this here. And maybe next time we see this video, maybe I'll be one. Yeah, one we're, gonna make, we're gonna make a nice video when he tell me. I wait yeah. for him because he's very busy, man. <laughs> yeah, man, thank you, bro. Bye.